Alright guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add images and icons to your GUI. Of course, images, you're going to add those whenever, I don't know, you want to display an image. It happens all the time. And icons, they're actually all over more than you realize. See all these right here? You always see the little printer icon, the save icon, all this crap right here. These are actually icons. So, even this logo, probably going to want to splatter your logo all around. So, let's go ahead and... uh. Well, let's get started. So I just have a couple images here. I'm going to use ping and make sure that you drag them in the same directory that your main Python file is. And if not, you can just, uh, I don't know, it's just easier that way for this tutorial. But if not, you can just, you know, change the file path up, whatever. So go ahead and make your object name. Since this is a photo of my face, I'll actually show it to you guys. This is a photo that I'm going to be using. This guy is good looking. Oh my. Handsome McGee. All right. So take your object. I'm going to call it photo and set it equal to photo image. Now in here, the parameter is file. This is probably the easiest tutorial ever. And set it equal to the name or the file path. Now since this is in the same directory, I don't need to add any weird for folders. I just put my face dot ping and now I have this file basically stored in the object photo now here's the thing I guess this isn't the easiest tutorial ever you just can't display photos in your GUI with Kinter what you need to do is you need to set them inside a label so you take the photo you put it in a label and we already know with a label you can just place it anywhere like any other widget so for a label, set this equal to, if you forgot, it was actually from the first tutorial, so refresh your memory, label. Now, of course, your label, you can stick in your root, which is your main window. And another parameter that you can add to label is this. You can set image equal to, and then give it an image object, which mine is photo. So I know that this is kind of um, a weird way of doing it. And you might think, okay, might as well just throw this photo right in my root. But you can't. You need to set this photo equal to a label. And then what you can do is place that label in your window. And it's essentially the same thing. So now the only thing we have left to do is, of course, if we wanted to show up on the screen, pack it in. So we'll just position it wherever it decides to go run this and check it out so that is how you use photos and graphics pretty sweet and also I want to show you guys this thing I actually have this uh, like little advertising network on my um, website and I'm always like trying different ads I actually tried like um, just a green box just a green box with no images or anything it just said click and I tried a red box that said don't click and I ran them for like 10,000 impressions and for some reason people want to click the red one that says don't click like five times more than the green one but I'll show you guys what my most successful ad was why this is I have no idea well let me run it real quick it's this thing right here so pretty much if you have any stupid image and I just have a random image of, I think this is Tom Hanks, like, sweating, or I don't know what he's doing. I hope he's, like, working out not doing what he looks like he's doing. But here's a little key for advertising. Take any image, surround it with a red border, and put one of those little um, finger icons in there. For some reason, it gets people to look at it and click it. So why this happens, I have no idea. But, you know, this isn't, like, part of the tutorial or anything. I just want to show you guys a nice little tidbit of information that I learned so if any advertiser advertising expert is out there please explain why people want to click that stupid thing but for now uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial